type of perfect cutting to uh, celebrate Day of the Dead, but uh, this uh, art form is also used to, uh, to or, uh, adorn houses and to celebrate birthdays and parades and everything. Uh, this, this tradition um, was born at the turn of the, of the century in Mexico and probably was uh, the influence came from Europe different to what a lot of people think, we use chisels. Put several layers of tissue paper and we cut through, we actually carve through, we put designs and patterns. Other cultures use other means to do this, you know, they use scissors or knives and, but every, every, every country and, and culture have, have a, has a traditional uh, form of paper cutting the Polish have one, the, Sw the Swiss, I don't know how it's pronounced, that. It's from Switzerland, they have the, their own tradition, you know, like a, the lady over there, I met her at the Smithsonian. And, uh, but we use this to uh, celebrate Day of the Dead. Usually what we do is we depict uh, skeletons uh, and, and funny things, you know, uh, skeletons doing things that, uh, uh, you know, like in real life because dead uh, is, is, uh, is for us is a reflection, or, or life is a reflection to what really happened and, and, and dead, you know? So you wanna be, see skeletons dancing or eating or mariachi, band playing, you know? We make fun of that, we don't take it seriously. And, uh, so. so what different medium do you, do you make these skeletons out of? Obviously paper, what else? The, this, uh, the, 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 uh, the skulls are paper mache. The paintings are acrylics, and and uh, and the uh, crucifix. I use wood, but I also use corn stacks, which is another technique uh, invented by the Colombian uh, Indians, uh, native Mexicans in Mexico. But I didn't bring one of those because they are so delicate. Right. I don't want to. I'm a self-taught artist. I. Never took art classes. I just decided that I wanted to do things like this. I'm, I'm a wood carver. I'm a photographer. I'm a sculptor. I work with metal, uh, two and three dimensional objects, and everything I taught by my, I taught myself how to do it. And and well, every home has an altar, and usually it's, a, it's the where people gathers, you know, sometimes the kitchen, sometimes a room, a living room, but uh, the celebration takes place at the core of the family, but there is also a public display, and that's when you go to the cemeteries, you know, and you bring flowers and food, you know, so, but uh, most of the celebration has, takes place at the core of the family, you know, people get together, friends come, bring food, and, you expect the souls to come to visit you.